One might say that the way to pronounce the plural form of Lego is just Legos. They are in fact wrong. Did you know that the correct way to spell the plural form of Lego is just in fact Lego? I'm here to inform you about the origins of Lego before it became synonymous with plastic bricks and how it evolved into its modern day counterpart. I'm sure many of you have at least played with Lego once in your life, just as I have. I will be telling you about the origins of Lego, starting from the man who founded the company. Let us first talk about the man who started Lego, Ole Kirk Christensen, the founder. Ole Kirk Christensen set up shop in 1932 in Billund, Denmark, and formed the company we now know as Lego. According to Lego, which published the website title, Lego History, Ole Kirk Christensen was a skilled carpenter who first began selling wooden toys, such as wooden rolling ducks, with his son Godfred. Kirk Christensen. Lego further states that the origin of the name is a play on two Danish words, leg got, which means play well. Since the beginning of Lego, Ole made it his goal to ensure that the customers would be receiving the highest quality toys. According to Lego, in the website titled Lego History, Ole came up with the motto, only the best is good enough. When his son had tried to use two coats of lacquer, instead of three on a new batch of toys and had him apply a third coat overnight as punishment. Although it seemed as though Ola's success would only rise, things took a turn for the worst. According to Kim Fagel, who directed the short video published on YouTube titled The Lego Story, How It All Started, a devastating fire struck in 1942, destroying the workshop. Despite the, despite the harsh reality that had begun to settle in, Ola stayed strong and built a new factory, restarting production on wooden toys. It all changed in 1947, when according to Jennifer Rosenberg in a 2021 article titled The History of Lego, Everyone's Favorite Building Blocks, published by ThoughtCo, Ola published a plastic injection machine molding, in, a plastic injection molding machine that was used to produce plastic toys, paving the way for the modern Lego brick. The Lego brick would become synonymous with the Lego brand, even after the death of its founder. After the death of Ole Kirk Christensen, his son God Godfred Kirk Christensen continued his father's legacy and continued to build the Lego company. A problem with the early Lego bricks was the fact that they, would, they wouldn't stick together. So when something was built, there was a possibility that it would fall apart. This problem was solved by Godfred Kirk Christensen, who According to Kim Pagel, who directed the short video published on YouTube titled The Lego Story, How It All Started, noticed that Lego bricks had a better clutch power with tubes integrated within, within the design. Unfortunately, Ole would not be around for such innovations. Such innovations in the Lego bricks would allow Lego to continue off from just being building blocks and instead shift to, into creating themes centered around these said building blocks. According to Jennifer Rosenberg in a 2021 article titled The Lego History, Everyone's Favorite Building Blocks, published by Thotco, Lego has created lines of Lego sets such as Duplo for ages 5 and under in 1964, all the way to Lego Star Wars in 1999. This helped Lego expand its influence on different demographics. Lego, again, would once, once, Lego would once again see devastating results around the 2000s. According to the Knowledge at Warhan staff who wrote the 2012 article Pup Innovation Almost Bankrupt Lego until it rebuilt with a better blueprint, Lego had lost $300 million in 2003, leaving the company practically bankrupt. However, the company came back from a series of calculated business decisions that put them back on track for success, such as shifting the majority of the Lego brick production to Mexico. They had also decided to conduct less innovation, instead focusing on what they were known for, bricks. Lego's rise in popularity has led to great partnerships with other organizations such as NASA. According to Brian Dunbar in the 2021 article titled, NASA and the Lego Group Building Decades of Collaboration, Lego and NASA have been collaborating since the early 1990s creating activities and Lego sets for sh children geared towards the STEM field. This couldn't be a more perfect match. Lego itself is an education, 
uh, is educational and encouraging creativity and when, when paired with NASA, inspires a new generation of people who are interested in many STEM fields that exist. That was just a brief history of the Lego company. Of course, with any topic, there's so much more to learn about, but what I talked about were some of the key points. The Lego company has been around for over 90 years, and it's no surprise that they've managed to stay relevant. Since its beginning, its leaders have valued the quality of their products and worked hard to expand their brand, making it what it is today by focusing on the building and creativity aspect that Lego Bricks demonstrates so well. Lego holds a special place in a world full of toys and will continue to do so for many years to come. If companies follow the standards set by Lego, then the future of toys looks bright.